Hello, on this video I will show you how to import and uh, attach VHD uh, disk uh, to the um, virtual machine on the Azure portal. Uh, I just created virtual machine in here. Uh, and also I create a storage account here. Yeah? So we need storage account to create the container with and attach to those storage account, uh, upload the VHD um, file. So we just go to the uh, uh, storage account, find Bob services and containers. Uh, we create the uh, we create the container VHD. Just select private. Okay, so we've got the uh, the VHD container. Now we can upload some. VHD file. I will, I will select my new VHD which was created a second ago. Uh, as a default, you can see the Azure is already recommend the VHD file as a page blob. So we just use the page blob and click upload. That should be take a few minutes. The file is not very big, but I will pause the video. Okay, so right now the import was completed. We can just go for storage account, migration and containers. That's the VHD and we get the new VHD in here. Okay, so if you would like to attach uh, right now those uh, disk to our machine just go to the machine disks and we will add the we will add the disk but let me copy some information from the storage we will need the, the properties So make sure you had copy somewhere locally the uh, to some notepad or something like that the um, properties so location. Then we go to the our machine, create disk. B B H the test that's the same storage blob source blob and in here I will just paste the entire path of our storage blob mm -hmm. ah, okay OS type, we just go for Windows and generation two. And we will, should be able to create it. The disk is creating, so I will pause the video and come back when the, when the creation is finished. So creation was finished, just, I just click the save. Make sure you click the save after uh, the disk was creating. Okay, so I will log into server right now. Yeah, that's the server, I just open it. So that is our VHD, which I was uh, attached. So the next option, uh, in fact, we have a few options how to how to deal with the disks. So that was the first one. So we just attach the disk to the uh, to the blob, um, and then we can just uh, um, add new disk to the from the portal. Uh, we can also import 
the VHD from the from the server. Yeah, for example, from the uh, from the portal. To do in this, we will need to. I will create a new disk now, so you can just follow my procedure. Okay, so we start from the beginning. Uh, when you've got the uh, my computer, just go for manage. Computer management. Disk management and there should be an action, create VHD. Yeah. You will go for the location. I will just uh, go for the default uh, for the desktop, yeah. Test VHD or something like that. We will save. Uh, I just go for the uh, older version VHD, how VHDX is just the newest version yeah, of it. Uh, just go a really tiny 20 gigs of uh, 20 max of uh, disk and just click creation. As you can see, that's automatically was attached, but I would like to detach right now. Yeah. So we can import to Azure portal. Okay, so that's our VHD disk. We need to open the PowerShell. Just make sure it's uh, as an administration right now. Uh, and we need to install the module. Azure RM. Oh, clubber. Press enter. Yeah, make sure you press yes. Enable to download this and check your internet connection. Okay, so I think it might be have an issue with the uh, check something with the firewall because I didn't set up any rules. I don't know. I will try to disable the firewall just for this testing and we will see if that will work. Okay, after 20 minutes looking uh, for the issue, I found uh, some uh, article on the website and the guys just uh, told us to open the PowerShell as admin. Of course, I've got the uh, admin uh, permission, then set up those service point manager and try it again. And I did it and it works, yeah. So, I will paste that uh, solution also. Maybe someone else have a similar issue as, as I had right now. Okay, so I just installed the module for the Al Clever. And we go for the next, okay, for the next. So I will try connect. Okay, so that's it. I try to connect with the Azure account. Okay, so we had again, same issue. Yeah. So I install again the Azure RM, I'll clobber, and now it looks like everything is fine. Hope this time will be worse. Yeah, looks like it's fine. 
I'm not sure why is, uh, you know, this is the Azure VM that should, the PowerShell should work right away. Uh, I will. Log into the portal. And if that will work, we should have, yeah, for subscription. Yeah. So right now, we've got our PhD file. Uh, we've got our subscription, and we can try add our. Or our uh, test PhD uh, to our portal. So. That will be our command, yeah? This is the uh, add Azure RM VHD resource group. That's your resource uh, group name. Destination, uh, that will be your uh, storage account properties. And then a local, uh, local file path, yeah? Okay, so from the uh, portal perspective, let me minimize. Okay, what we need, we need uh, our resource group. Our resource group, okay. So this is test resource group. Uh, what we need, we need also the our storage account migration go for containers VHD so we will just just copy those one but we will just uh, uh, check if I can just take a container properties okay so we just go that's our container just copy it and then we just go for test VHD that's our local Go properties. See user Azure desktop, and then we've got our PhD. And just let me check. I think that's it. I can try it. Import import that to our portal. Okay, that's not a uh, good find. Oh, okay, it's not new, look, we got test. SVHG, this is the name, and we've got in the dot VHD because that's the uh, uh, type of the file, yeah, VHD. It's easy to confuse it. Okay, let me check. Okay, I still there. Um, I think there's still something. Okay, there is a typo on the first add. Should be add, so that's my fault. Try it again. Okay, looks fine this time. Yep, magic has happened. You can go to the Azure portal, uh, go to the container VHD, and we should have, yes, we had the 
that's our test one. Yeah, we just we just import that one a few seconds ago. So if you would like to right now uh, attach uh, the same disk to the VM as a, as a disk, we just go to just copy the properties. Then we will go to our VM. Disks. Just go add disk. Create disk. Go for test two or something, something simple. Uh, storage blob. Then we can just go for paste our uh, our location, just go for Windows, generation two. And let me check, I think, hold on, create. Just wait a few seconds, that will be creating. I'll be just uh, pause for a minute. Yeah, it looks like this is already, this is creating. Cre created already so make sure you click the save yeah if you don't done it if you don't do it you need to do it again and attach the disk and stuff like that so that's will be updating I think we should be able to see the our new disk Open the disk manager. We'll see if that was attached or no. Okay, yeah. So some disk is, is come up right now. I'm not sure why it's not in UTIs are already. Okay, so yeah, I, I pick up was a one gigs also. So we need to just go for simple volume. Maybe because the disk was empty, that's why it's just, you know, just waiting for us. You know, because on the first one, we've got the uh, some, some files. So maybe because of this, this one is, it was waiting was, uh, need to be done manually as uh, initiating. And those one, as you can see, the part of it was already visible, but some part of it, we can just go and just uh, extend it. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and just comment if, if you like it or no. Thanks.